Cunardines dropped to 0 to 6 in pre-season with loss to Maple Leafs. Jonathan Druin wasn't too worried about the Cunardines 0 to 5 pre-season record heading into Wednesday night's game against the Toronto Maple Leafs at Centre Video Tron. It is pre-season, so we're still figuring out a lot of new players Druin said after the Canadiens morning skate in Brassard before a bus trip to the provincial capital. I think we're adjusting well to the systems we want to play. There's still a lot of work to be done and to be fixed, but that's what pre-season is for. But to be 0-5 to five at this point is not what we want. Pre-season or not, we need wins and we want wins to feel good about ourselves going into the year. Now the Canadiens are 0-6 to six after a 4-2 to two loss to the Leafs Wednesday night. Let's rephrase that, the Canadiens lost to a bunch of mostly unknown guys skating around in Leafs jerseys. The five skaters Leafs coach Mike Bubcock sent out to open the game, defenseman Andreas Borgman and Connor Carrick, along with forwards Connor Brown, Josh Lavo and Miro Altonen, might be able to do more damage on spellcheck than on the ice. But they were good enough to beat the Canadiens on this night. The 14,452 fans in attendance who paid between $28 and $158, the ticket prices listed on the Centre Videotron website didn't get to see any of the Leafs star players, as Austin Matthews, Nazem Kadri, Mitch Marner, William Nylander, James Van Riemsdyk and Patrick Marleo were among those Bubcock told to stay home. Things looked good for the Canadiens when Druin opened the scoring at 5.09 of the first period on a breakaway, beating Leafs goalie Curtis McElhinney with a gorgeous backhand move going top shelf for what looked like a video game goal. Beauty Andrew Shaw made it 2-0 at 18 o'clock of the first period when he was left alone in front of the Leafs net on a power play and made a nice backhand to forehand move before going top shelf. Beauty Then things got ugly for the Canadiens. Carrick power play, Martin Marincin and Borgman scored for the Leafs in the second period and Andreas Johnson scored on the power play in the third. The Canadiens continued to have problems getting the puck out of their own zone as coach Claude Julien tries to figure out who will be on his blue line when the season starts next Thursday in Buffalo. Victor Mead continued to look good beside Shea Weber, while Brandon Davidson continued to struggle. Perry Price played the entire game in goal for the Canadiens, who outshot the Leafs 31-28. Mike McCarran, who is battling to avoid buying Metro tickets to Laval to play for the Isles Rocket, dropped the gloves in the first period to fight Colin Greening, but slipped and ended up on the ice. McCarran could have done more to impress coach Claude Julien by actually staying on the ice rather than spending five minutes sitting in the box. So, the Canadiens are 0-6 to now and panic is probably setting in with some fans a week before the regular season even starts. Meanwhile, the real Leafs must have enjoyed watching Wednesday night's game on TV.